Hello everyone. So uh, this is going to be Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising Weekly General uh, Tarot Reading. Due to the high demands recently, or rather like uh, a lot of my followers that have been requested to return back the general readings instead of making relationship or splitting into relationship and career. And so this is what I'm going to do here. Um, making just a general reading and another thing that I'm going to try out and I hope that you're going to give me a, um, how can I say, feedback, do you like it or not, it is the string reading which means that no particular positions, just drawing six to eight cards, well let's make them seven cards um, in string. So, um, that being said, let me shuffle and um, in case you do want a, a personal reading, you're interested into it, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website. All right, so let's see how this thing is gonna go. Uh, now, the first card, which uh, is gonna stand for Capricorn's week here, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords, Capricorns, this week it does look like that you are have to be quite open-minded in regards to your career and your relationship, if you will. The card itself may represent that you are clinging on certain, not outdated co concepts, but outdated views, if you will. And one has to start thinking outside of the box. Um, so can overcome a certain disagreements that have been a reason recently in between you and your partner or in between you and your uh, co-workers that is now the eight of swords it's a very strong card where there are disputes in between people it does point that you and the people that you are disputing certain things uh, with are having or you both are having a hard time to get to to get your points across, therefore, you are misunderstood. They are misunderstood. And therefore, uh, one needs to dive a bit deeper into more elaborating, elaborated excuse me, explanations over their points of view and over their vision as well. And last final thing about the Eight of Swords for your week here, it is that... Um, how can I say it? That one needs to recognize the truth. Now, the Eight of Swords, I love that card. It is because it says that if the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, all right? So, whatever you suspect it's, um, or whatever you see as an argument that it is the truth, then you have to accept it, recognize it, and move on from there. Now, the next one, uh, for what it seems, is going to be the Ace of Swords, highly correlating with the Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords tells you a couple of things here for the week. First of all, it is that you need to have a very, very strong sp spirit, or rather, like, you need to exert a strong a, a big mental strength. Oh my God, it is because big and strong in my, in this particular concept, in my native language, they mean the same thing. So big mental strength, it is that you need to oppress here. Now the eight of so the ace of swords, excuse me, it's a card pointing that one needs to attend to a bit more drastic measures than usual. That is like a, uh, an, an initial push on an impulse over relationship or over career as well. But the card also kind of like um, urges one person to not avoid confrontations. And that's why it's highly related to the Eight of Swords here is because you may have a trouble to make your points across clear, but in the same time, you should not avoid that particular challenge to make your points across clear. But the Ace of Swords also helps you to identify the truth here. It is because the, the Ace of Swords tells us Capricorns that you are going to be completely aware of the true identity and the true diagnosis of your tasks, of your situation, of your relationship, if you will, you know, of your career as well. And when you understand the reality 
or when you understand how the thing stands in your life, then you will be able to uh, kind of systemize or make a plan for a accurate actions in order to obtain, maintain or gain uh, control over the situation. Now, the third card for you is going to be the Six of Cups. And we do now, as we do have those two cards, which are kind of rough in terms of... Um, in terms of endeavors and in terms of generally going through the week. Now we do have the Six of Cups, which kind of points that you will have a lot of small things to enjoy around yourself. But even above that, the Six of Cups kind of gives um, a hope for single people. It is because the card may point to physical and emotional connection with someone on a, a very primal and how can I say it? low levels at, le at least at that particular point, but with a um, potency to to grow further or to grow higher than that. So when you are feeling attraction to certain people, emotional and physical, it will be a, a good um, how can I say it a good advice from the cards at least you know to try to make your points across clear and to to try and aim to spend more time with them. But at the end of the day, the Six of uh, the six of Cups here points that even if you have to slog in, in, in how can I say it? Mm. Yeah, but, well, slog through the week, trying to maintain control and trying to uh, overcome the obstacles into the disagreements with people, into the communications, that is, there are to be as well a small things in your life endeavors that you can enjoy definitely that are going to balance, you know, the uh, poignant experience that you may have with the people around. Uh, now, the next one <clears throat> is going to be the strength card. So, the strength card here, <clears throat> kind of like a... Uh, gives an uh, as uh, gives an idea that you capricorn are going to be very convinced in your righteousness in a, in a term of that you are not going to feel uh, how can i say it obliged to constantly explain yourself and it's kind of like uh, you are going to think that <clears throat> the reasons behind your actions and the reasons behind your ideas are kind of like close to mind, but that's not the case with everybody. Just let's face it, guys, not everybody is as smart as anybody else. So sometimes it will be a good thing if you start from the root to explain yourself in front of your husband, boss, you know, co-workers, how can I say it, uh, friends and family and so on and so forth. But this trend here throughout this week, throughout this week, it kind of gives you the... Um, the, per, the, the ability to persevere through patience. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that, um, how can I say it, that you are going to abandon lightly uh, your goals, your dreams, and as well a certain people, if you will also. The strength kind of like a speaks for a lot of enthusiasm as well from your behalf to jump into action and to overcome predicaments and um, and plights. Overall, the strength card goes like that. It's very difficult to describe it when it is a lonely card into the spread, when there is no, um, when there is no position. But take it like this. Um, say you have to climb a mountain and you don't know what is going to have beyond that summit that you need to climb. And at certain point climbing the summit, you are going to start questioning yourself why I'm even doing that. You know, you can apply this to, for example, difficult relationship, asking yourself why I am doing this. You know, I am going through that or through a difficult job, if you will. And once you climb the summit and you survey the vista beyond the summit, then you understand that it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. And that's why the card says strength, perseverance through, um, through patience. To just move through that particular period of time. And the card itself here points that the majority of your endeavors, the majority of the wrangles that you are having with, with people, if you will, uh, the majority of the struggle that you do have... Um, in between you and your partner or in between you and your co-workers 
it does worth it. I mean, it's it, it, it truly going to pay off in a positive way once uh, those things are set aside, settled, you know, and uh, and resolved. So from those four cards for you. For you Capricorn, it does look like that this week is going to be mainly oriented into you maintaining a good uh, relationship with those around, with your husband and with your wife, with your co-workers, with, uh, with your family, if you will, with supervisor, boss and so on and so forth, as you have to suppress the, uh, the feeling or the standpoint that you don't have to explain yourself because you know the reasons that you are doing certain things behind are rather obvious they aren't okay or at least they are not for the majority of the people and while simultaneously it is advisable for you to have fun with your hobbies and with things that generally makes you feel like a child you know if you like playing video games play video games you like reading books then read books and etc etc so uh the next one here is going to be the six of wands um well this card points that your efforts are not gonna be left unattended or rather like um unrecognized okay the efforts that you make to um achieve a common ground the efforts that you make for a initiating new things and especially that perseverance through patience is not going to be left unnoticed and it's highly likely that throughout the week as well that people are going to reward you for it with new position you know with a uh, bigger salary for example with love if you will as well it does depend what kind of a situations you are going to be involved in but this card in that particular stage at the string it does point that once again everything that you are going through every slog that you are trying to overcome uh it will be it will be rewarded at the end of the day and once everything of this is gone i mean it's uh, it's kind of like overcome uh, there will be a peak of experience waiting for you, peak of experience like a, a culmination of things that are just a, a milestone at least for the time being and there is a lot to be uh, asked and a lot to be achieved afterwards but you are to feel quite proud and, and how can I say it, quite happy of the milestone itself that you, ha that you have been reached. So the next one uh, is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And this card here also tells us that you will, uh, throughout this week, you will have to do whatever you can to stabilize your positions. What I mean is that you need to adopt a, a bit of a defensive measures in regards to your current um, current spoils of war. This is how I'm going to um, use it, you know. Um, this, this term is what I'm going to use. Uh, you're, so you have to be a bit more defensive about your relationship, for example, a bit more defensive about yourself, a bit more defensive about your uh, career as well. Why? It is because with the Four of Pentacles, this week also is going to give you a chance to uh, secure, uh, to ensure a, a secured future or longevity in either your career, your relationships, uh, your relationship, or maybe both. And uh, Elaborate, uh, elaborated explanations of your standpoint and of your vision is gonna have a, a is going to play a, a big role into it. People are gonna gain trust once they see, you know, where you're coming from, which your ideas and which your um performance, and what do you want to achieve. Uh, Four of Pentacles. It's also a card of wealth. All right. Um, in a term of that you will have a good blessings here or, or rather like a um, yeah I would say a good blessings but those blessings needs to be shared with others okay so if you can help then you should help all right if you can um, well also this this thing is cl classified into help uh, but why you have to do that? It is because the Four of Pentacles says that while you can focus on a, a success alone, you are going to achieve it. But then 
you are going to have a lonely and empty existence. So this card here tells us that if you do want to have a harmoniously uh, flowing relationship, then you have to share your good fortune with your partner. If you do want to have a, a good relationship in between you and your colleague, in between you and your colleagues, you will have to do the same as well. Uh, there is no way around it, at least with uh, with this card. And uh, the last one that we do have, it is the Five of Pentacles, and we see why here at the end. <laughs> at this stage, the Five of Pentacles tells us that whenever plight you are to face from now on into the future, you are not going to be alone in it, right? You are always going to people to support you. So you are going to have people that are ready to go through ice and fire for you through the ninth her to through the nine circles of hell but that is only if you are that weak as you are to be fortunate to share that good fortune with the others so hopefully you enjoyed the readings guys it is the first time in front of camera that is that i am reading in string uh, i haven't done that in many many years and just let me know how you find it uh, additionally to that, if you do want a personal reading, you can check out the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website and uh, from there you can schedule a reading. So hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.